It has been three weeks since I stuck the Buds Z into my ears. Question one, are they a sound purchase? And question two, how do they sound? And then there's that third question, do I think you should buy these and spend $50? Well, let's watch the video, shall we? Hello again, Pietro here. Thanks for clicking by. Let me take one out so I can pause that music. The OnePlus Buds Z. These are the Stephen Harrington edition. Cool last name, right? Harrington? Awesome last name. Anyway, what do I think of these? I've had these for almost a month now, and they're interesting. Uh, I like the design. The design's really cool. I mean, headphones are typically, ah, there we go, that's better, uh, white or black or yellow or red. Let's see, I've seen blue ones on this channel. I did test the red ones. I thought those were like uh, fruit gushers and uh, I wanted to eat them. And these are green and purple. The left one is the green one and then the right one is the purple one. And there they are. Nice little clam shell, rechargeable case. You can't, it's not wireless, but it is USB-C and it does come with a charging dongle, which is nice. Typical uh, red and white, which is the OnePlus brand. They charge really quickly. Whatever the battery life is online, that's what they do. They, you know, there's that little bit of underwater feeling. So they could use a little bit better ventilation. Uh, I'll compare these to the, well, I won't even say the name. They don't have that little air outlet, so you do kind of feel that there's just a little bit of underwater but that's how they do noise cancellation. So if they fit in your ears, they're great. These actually fit. Uh, surprisingly, these fit better than a pair of Apple ones that I tried earlier this year, the AirPods Pro, I believe. And I like them. The sound quality is decent. Again, <clears throat> I can't compare them to Apple because these were only $50, whereas the Apple ones are $250. I think they're on sale at Costco for $200. So with a price that's four to five times greater, you can't really compare apples to one plus. Um, these are probably similar to Skullcandy audio quality, if I can make that comparison. But uh, when you take them out, the music pauses. When you put them back in, the music starts back up. Uh, I've tried the shake test outside. I've tried these on the treadmill running. They're pretty good. Again, um, they don't really have the built-in noise canceling. But overall, the so here are the headphones up close. This is the case. You can really see that purple and green color and then they mix and match. They have the cool designs on the case, which yes, was recreated by uh, Stephen Harrington. And I, yeah, it's, you know, first glance is like, wow, these look like they're for kids, but I, I like them. I like that they're different, that they're unique. Charger, you know, just plug that in. So on the back, there's a little button and you just hold that, pair these with my Garmin Tactics Delta Solar Watch. And the, they stay connected all right. I'm having an issue. They worked really well yesterday and the day before, but today they were, there was like an empty, it was like they were self-pausing about once every 30 seconds. So I'm gonna disconnect them and repair them, but when they are paired, they work great. And if you have this uh, watch right here, when you're in a workout mode, all you have to do is add the widget to control your music. So you just do a long press, and then you can go to music controls, click once, and now you can adjust the volume you can also scroll up and adjust and go to My Music. You can choose Play All Songs. You can go to Playlists, Artists. Uh, right now I just have ABBA, Better Than Ezra, a little Collective Soul. Not much, I just put a few songs on there. And then it also sorts by albums, so pretty cool. Or you can just go by Songs. And then you can even do Genres, Podcasts, Audiobooks. And I did that by just connecting it right to my phone. And then as soon as I click play, 
then they'll start connecting to the air buds, boom, connected, and then I can start jamming out and then it plays. And then while you're running, you can just quickly pause them. I highly recommend setting up what you're gonna listen to beforehand because going into this menu system beforehand can be a little tricky while you're running. You're gonna to have to stop and do it again, but the quick controls are quickly accessible and it's nice that you can still quickly go into music. And right here I can go to, let's say, and go to genres and I can go to rock and then I can just start playing that song right there and that just quickly plays. Let's see how it sounds. Oh, it even has the album art on there. Not bad, not bad. And then as soon as I took it out, you saw that it paused. So for 50 bucks, they're better than a lot of the Walmart brands, which that I've tried, I've tried a couple of them and I've tried a couple other ones through Amazon that are less than 50. I, I would think this would probably be the minimum amount of money that you want to spend for headphones. Uh, it just depends on your ears. Uh, I'm in my late forties now, so my hearing's not that great, but I still can tell good sound from bad sound. And these are, these are good. Uh, I could say a little more bass would be nice, or maybe the option to adjust those settings. When you're in the app, if you have them paired to your OnePlus phone, if you do a long press, you can go into the uh, headphones right there and you can do some adjustments. You can say for phone calls or whatnot, but you can't adjust the bass or anything like that. So kind of a bummer. You can do a fine device, which I'll show you that. All right, so this is my second pair. Believe it or not, when I ordered my OnePlus phone, they came with two pairs. So this is, so this is pair number two, and it's paired with this watch right now. And then I have number one, which is paired with the OnePlus one. So as soon as I take those out, and now we can slide down, go to Bluetooth, and it shows us that the buds are 100%, 100%, case is 67, all right. Which makes sense because I haven't charged it for quite a while. So find device, right there, ring device. So it's not the case that's ringing, it's the headphones. Can you hear that? Pretty cool. Put them right up to my lav mic. You can hear them quite well. Now if these were outside, I don't know if you'd be able to hear them. I wish headphone companies like OnePlus and Apple and Skull Candy and the other 40 different manufacturers, Jabra and stuff, I wish they would put LED lights on these as well so you could find them easily in the dark. But that's how you find your headphones. And again, you just swipe down, do a long press on Bluetooth, click on the little setting icon, and then right there on the app, see it says Gadgets Anonymous OnePlus Bud Z, has the power, pretty cool. You can disconnect, forget, or you can do find device, ring device. Very cool. Well, I'm gonna keep on using these and I'll give you like a two months later. And if you're wondering on the different sizes that they have, they have the green. So these are the green ear tips. And then they also have purple. Now, if I put these side by side, the purple ones are the largest ones. And then the color that I have Oh, they're all purple and green. Hmm, that's curious. Green, green. Anyway, these are the two smallest ones, and for one reason or another, one is purple, one is green, but on the medium size, they're both green, and on the large, they are both purple. And that's how they look 
naked naked headphones oh, I like the little the little eyes on there let me see if my iPhone will zoom in so good job Stephen Harrington on the design so that is my story I'm sticking to it uh, headphones they are not all the same especially earbuds that fit in your ears uh, my favorite headphones to date are still some over-the-ear ones hang on these are some over-the-ear ones that I got quite some time ago almost two years ago and they just so naturally they mute out the sound and the sound quality is so good these are both wired and Bluetooth and they're great these were only I think these were on sale on Amazon for 50 I buy a lot of things on Amazon don't we all so do I recommend the OnePlus Buds Z Stephen Harrington edition? And the answer is yes, because they're only 50 bucks. And no, OnePlus does not know I'm making this video. I don't know, maybe they do. I, I doubt that Pete Lau follows me. Um, but yeah, they say they have the bass boost. I'm not really hearing it. The 20 hours of battery life, yes, I can vouch for that water and sweat resistant i haven't had any trouble with comfortable and cool design yes i like how they do come with three different sizes of ear tips seamless connection mm -hmm. i'd agree with that about 80 percent because i have had some disconnect problems but maybe that's an incompatibility issue with a garmin uh, i'm going to try them next with the one plus watch uh, I tried to pair them with my Apple Watch, an Apple Watch 6. That did not work. Whoops, just dropped one at all. They are pretty durable. I've dropped them a couple times. So just a quick update. I listened to these yesterday on the treadmill, and for almost an hour, there were no hiccups, no skips. So apparently there is an incompatibility with the Garmin Tactics Delta that I had them paired with. I'll disconnect them and repair them again. But when paired with the OnePlus 9 Pro, they worked great and the sound quality was much better. There you go. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. And yes, remember that numbers mean something and numbers mean nothing at all. And let the credits roll for the Paramount Kid. Goodbye.